We are still watching ways now since nuclear weapon testing began on the 16th of July 1945, nearly 2,000 have taken place. In the early days of nuclear testing, little consideration was given to its devastating effect on human life, let alone the dangers of nuclear fallout from atmospheric tests. Hindsight and history have shown us the terrifying and tragic effect of nuclear weapon testing. On the 2nd of December 2009, the 64th session of the United Nations General Assembly declared 29th August the International Day Against Nuclear Tests by unanimously adopting the resolution 6435. This resolution calls for increasing awareness and education about the effects of nuclear weapon tests, explosions or any other nuclear explosions and the need for their cessation as one of the means to achieving the goals of a nuclear weapon free world. So I'm very happy about this one. It's a very dangerous weapon. That's all I can say. <laughs> Just imagine. How, how are they doing with achieving this nuclear weapon free so, yeah, so that's why they, well, that's why for people like, for those kind of people, that's why this kind of law is put in place, or this kind of um, awareness is put in place. So people, the world doesn't yeah. need another Hiroshima No, we don't. Uh -huh. We don't right. actually. So I'm happy that they, they're putting, um, um, what's it called, the lamb light on that because it's and very, we, and we it's very two, deadly. We know the two countries <laughs> that, you know. We do. Let's not call them we because they are not doing one in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be alive. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so NASA, um, we'll take your story first because um, um, it's a trending one and trending it's obviously one and, yeah, a obviously very sad one. Absolutely. Do we want to take a, a moment of silence? Yeah. Or so we just give him, you know, the Wakanda. Wakanda. Our love and our heart goes to um, his Chantic entire family. family. Yeah. Right, so um, the story I'm taking on his passing is that, you know, he apparently secretly married his wife, um, Taylor Simone, before his death. And apparently they've been together four years through, which and he's been diagnosed with cancer for about the same period mm -hmm. of time. So what, why this struck me was, you know, this was someone who was uh, diagnosed with a terminal disease, but he still managed to live life to the fullest. Like, he found this is love and you know i'm a hopeless romantic so <laughs> he still managed to just you know live life intentionally respective of everything that was going on knowing that sort of thing was happening and he was obviously hopeful you know and there was something i there was a, speech. a good woman too. that's what she i was, was going to come to that yeah. would you marry yeah. someone that you know has that's just true love i mean has a short time to live yeah. like, it, it could have bitten it but stage four though so yeah. it would have been well yeah. you know i was also thinking i i hear the love pattern because I, I think yeah they must have really been in love but also thinking what about so did he marry her so that she could also have access to some of the wealth that well, he if, and if, I'm not saying it's a bad well, thing, honestly, but just, it just crossed point, my mind. At this point, if she's going to have access you know, to some royalties or whatever it is and all of that. By my side. And I just yeah. But he could have left his stuff he to her anyway without yeah. being married yeah. to her. I don't know. But, because she actually know. deserves it. She does. Absolutely. You know, and, and I think he stood, she stood by him all through. And I must commend the entire production crew, the entire... Um, mm -hmm. actors and everybody that was on set with him because you know according to the know. reports honestly they mm -hmm. said yeah he would leave set to go do For chemo and come back and you probably know, be too yes, weak and you know, have to yes, extend they come back, you know, then the break period filmed you know so he, he was in and out of chemo while you know while That's he was acting you know no but even the lady i was going to bring up this lady um um what's it called game of thrones um what's her name yes the um, one that acted the amila uh, clark yeah. Mm -hmm. what's her, yeah yeah what's her name her uh, her game of Thrones name what's the girl she the, also, the, the daenerys yeah daenerys, daenerys yes, yeah she right. also she had, had yeah she oh, yeah, I, terrible I, I, and I her has i think she had relapse twice. twice she had to go into brain surgery you know that she forgot her lines they had to remind her no oh, wow. i mean so some of these actors actually go through a lot mm -hmm. and you don't know you see a beautiful movie so this and story telling them online this perhaps? story actually brought a lot of emotions to people and i mean former president barack obama also you know yeah, tweeted yeah. and yeah. said amidst all of these things you were able to give hope to people it's, it's despite the fact you were so i think we should world, this is a lesson tiring. for all of us we should actually learn you know that life is beyond you so yeah. if you think you're living your life for yeah. you i mean and a bit more kindness yeah. a bit more kindness yeah. you know, from everyone yeah because you know, people shaded him that he's looking I gone i didn't realize yeah because he's losing weight i was at 
some point he was looking emaciated, you know, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, but so why is that something you want to tease someone about? Why, why is the world so cruel? I hear he so had cruel? to start taking down some pictures at some point. He even stopped uh, I mean, comments and all from going... Yeah. Anyways. All right, so we, our heart God goes out to, yeah. you know, to his family, his mm -hmm. wife. You know, we just pray for love, you know, mm -hmm. and healing for, for them. And remind Amen. the rest of us to live intentionally, Absolutely. Live well. and impactfully. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. All right, Amy, what did you find for us? Oh, yeah, my story is out of Canada. Uh, it's a positive one okay. uh, for a change. It's nice to read positive news about Nigerians, not the usual prevalent opposite, right? <laughs> so it's about Nigerian-born Mr. Madhu, who was recently appointed uh, okay, Minister, of, yeah, Minister mm. of Justice for Canada's Alberta province. And um, it was quite refreshing, honestly. He emigrated from Nigeria 15 years ago. Wow. And in that time, he's been able to work and really just grow. And he's the, the first black man ever, you know, to be Minister of Justice or Attorney General or anything mm. wow. in Canada. And, and he said, he said, and I quote, I look forward to the day Nigerians will be able to achieve their potential, regardless of where they come from or where they are. Mm -hmm. Zoning and federal character. All of that, <laughs> you know. So, so it, it's just great. I was very happy to see this. And, you know, it's like, we, we really can make it wherever we are. Okay. You know, we're very resilient and diligent people. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And so let the majority of the youth tour this line and not the other mm. line. If you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's not be in the news for all the wrong things. The easy one. Absolutely. Yeah. The easy way out. Earn it. So my story is actually um, just a quick one um, because we, we've been expecting the rains to come and it's not... <laughs> I mean, today it drizzled a little bit. It, it yeah, in Lagos, yeah, it drizzled in my house a little bit. So, Nema wants Anambra residents in f um, flood plains to relocate. I mean, this story. But well, they're always warning. So they're yeah. always warning. I think I was watching, was it Kebby State now? I can't remember which state now in the north. I was watching the news this morning. I can't remember what state. I mean, there are a lot of warnings that are going around mm -hmm. saying to people, relocate, please. I just want to appeal. If you is if your area is part of those places where you know there's red alert and all of that, please, please be find and and <laughs> find a way to you know, you know. I know it's difficult it's because some people will say, where do I go to? But your life is much more important than you That's know. A valid question. What yeah. Do they need to go to? No, really. Where do they go to? That's the truth. Well, you know. You I was. And the people advise them. Where are they asking them to move to? Like, are they so that's the thing, yeah. and that's yeah. where sometimes yeah. I feel like our government they're not proactive because before you even make this kind of declarations, what are the you need to have prepared. what are the provisions yeah. for them to say? Okay, this is a, a temporary place where you can you know put up with until we're able so to do this. Nets, and I yeah. must commend, um, what's it called, the Lagos State government, because um, I was, we were driving with NASA, and that four point road, I can't remember the name. You know, that yeah, place is really near, bad yeah, with water, yeah. yeah. You know, if you see the the, the very big drainages that, you That's know, that is currently being oh, yes, yes. it's terrible for, for okay. whenever so it rains. So and we're doing this in preparation yes. ahead, we're proactive. Ahead, ahead. That's and I'm happy stuff. that a lot of uh, interroads, especially with um, um, NVI here, the government is actually working, you know, to to make sure that you know um, when the rains when the come, come, you know, there's there's a proper drainage that they can they can flow on. into. Amen, amen you know, so that. let all the governments, state governments, you know, you know, work work at it and Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. Yeah. Get all I think right. in rule. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just um, hoping that these people would listen. It's not only Anambra; they are different states. I can't just remember the states now, but mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. listen and let us find you know alternatives pending when because now that you know we had the very this august break was quite long so yeah so when it comes it's going to come in full force it's not about god loving us god is warning us now hey no he's giving us time because he knows imagine if the rains came as they should yeah we wouldn't have had time to do all these absolutely absolutely all right so we'll see you after the break to discuss emerging investment trends stay with us we'll be right back